Hi, and welcome back. Let's dig into Equihack's operators. Operators are the system's verbs. There are over 75 of them. As you have seen, they perform logical tests such as the greater than and less than operators in the first lesson. They perform arithmetic operations too. Obviously, with a list of more than 75 operators, that just scratches the surface of what's available. We're going to concentrate on the grammar of Equihack for now. Once understood, you'll find it easier to implement your get-rich screeners down the road. I think you'll find Equihack easy to master. There are few rules of punctuation. As you create search arguments, Equihack builds the underlying framework for you. You'll see how that works as we explore operators. Let's start. On the home page, let's click on Create Stock Screener. Accept any name and click Done. Click on the red question mark box to get the empty box. There are several ways to get an operator into this box. Let's run through them. First choice, not necessarily the best choice, click on the empty box and see a drop down menu. Scroll down to Add Content and then scroll across to Add Operator. Click on it. The toolbox opens with operators showing. If you like the keyboard commands, you could have typed in Control, Shift, O, and this too would have opened the toolbox the same way, displaying available operators. That would be a faster way. What you may remember from the last lesson, another way to find things is to click on the Tools tab in the lower left corner. Unless it's already highlighted. You may see a list of properties, but you want operators. Notice the three small icons to the right of the filter box. <coughs> Click the middle gear icon to list the operators. Whatever method you use to arrive at the list of operators in the toolbox, notice that they are all purple. All the words are lowercase. All are preceded with a round gear icon. As you scroll over the operators, notice how the information in the box to the right explains what the operator does. At the bottom of the description, see a sample of how to use it. Let's click on a simple operator such as the greater than. The system expands the term to three elements. Two empty boxes waiting for properties or constants and the greater than operator in the middle. Note that you could have dragged the operator to the empty box too. Well actually you could have just typed the greater than symbol in the box directly. We've seen this statement before in the first and second lessons, so we're back where we started. Are you bored yet? Let's vacate the slow walking tour and go for a quick tour of Equihack City. Hold on to your hats. This crazy cab driver we've hired doesn't seem to understand exactly where we want to go and likes to drive 20 miles an hour over the speed limit. That's fine. We'll get back later and dig into key areas that we only glimpsed in the rapid tour. We want to add a multiplier operator in the first box to multiply some properties together. Naturally, there are several ways to do this. One way, type MU, short for multiplier, in the box and select the X times Y prompt shown. Another way is to type an asterisk in the box and select the X times Y prompt shown. The third way is to click the X, which is the top choice in the Tools box. The fourth way is to simply grab the X and drag it to the box. Regardless of your choice, Equihack expands the term to five elements and groups the first three within parentheses. It says multiply two values together and see if the result is greater than the third value. Next, let's put a plus sign in the first box by typing it or dragging it. Now your term expands to seven elements and two sets of parentheses. This will add the first two values together, multiply the result by the third value, and compare the answer to the fourth value, assigning a true indicator if the fourth value is less than the calculated value. That gives you a glimpse of how arithmetic operators are laid out. Now, let's check out how operators that modify properties work. 
The top one on the tools list is ABS. It returns the absolute value of a return or calculation by stripping the plus or minus sign off the value. Let's add it to our first box. This converts the first property to an absolute value before adding it to the second property. Suppose you want the resulting value of the addition operator to be absolute. To do that, undo the last step with Control Z and drag or type the ABS over the operator immediately to the right of the addition parentheses. It looks like you will be replacing the X in this case with ABS, but instead you get the ABS nested in with parentheses to convert the entire result to an absolute value. The X multiplier operator returns to your line of code where it was before you so rudely dropped the ABS on its head. The ABS now shows to the left of the values enclosed in parentheses. This tells Equihax to make the result of the addition an absolute value. A particularly strong feature of Equihack is the ability to specify the value of a property on a particular date. We see that work with the as of operator. I'm going to point out a few possibilities as we roar down this road. First, let's drop the as of on the first property box. This invites you to enter a number of days ago just to the first property. Let's undo that by clicking Control Z. Next, let's drop the as of on the X operator instead. Now all the properties to the left of the greater than symbol will be selected X days ago. This time let's undo that by clicking Editor Undo. What happens if we drop the as of property to the right of the greater than symbol? That just affects one value, not the whole clause. Control Z again. So you want all the properties in this clause to be as of X number of days ago. How do you do that? Just drop the as of command on top of the greater than operator. Now all four properties are enclosed in parentheses and all will be used as of X days ago. Dizzy? What we've been doing I call Henry Yang the system. Henry Crutcher, a principal architect of Equihack, has an ability to tear into an unknown system and find things that experienced operators didn't know exist. In my case, I've watched him tear into complex video editing programs such as Apple's Final Cut Pro or Adobe's Lightroom that I've been using for months. In less than five minutes of random clicking around, he has shown me things I never knew existed. He would be flattered if you would do this to Equihack. Let's tell our cabbie to take a left here and run down the George Boole Street to contemplate some Boolean logic. Normally each term in Equihack needs at least one operator that reports whether the conditions spelled out on the line are true or false. There are exceptions to one line, one true, false, where many lines of calculations are made before the big question is asked, but let's not go there yet. The six Boolean operators are less than, greater than, equal, less than or equal, greater than or equal, and not equal. When you start by entering just a property in the first box, such as PE, Equihack gives you the greater than, true, false, Boolean by default. If you want to use some other boolean, just replace the greater than sign. But what you really want is a between true false term. That requires two booleans. Here's a way to do that. Start with the less than symbol in the empty box. You want a PE between 5 and 20. Put the 5 in the left box and the PE 
in the right box. Then highlight any of the three elements and type a comma. Enter 20 in the new box. And press return. And you have your tween test. Where did this comma feature come from, you ask? I'll show you. It is one of the several options in the drop-down under Editor on the top line. Click Editor, Edit Term, and then Add Term. It doesn't enter a whole new line like the Add Clause under it. It just adds another test to the right of an existing clause. Let's stop here. Hopefully you feel emboldened to explore the system a bit more on your own. Study existing system screeners. Modify them to see what happens and save good results. Don't worry, any changes are on your system only. That's it for number three. Thanks for watching.